Hi everyone, um, so we're going to focus on problem 6 from worksheet 10. So this is page uh, 47 in your packet. Um, so let's focus on this diagram right here. Um, and the question is, is this pulley accelerating? Um, and where this comes from is because there's a single string that's wrapped around this pulley. There's a single string that's wrapped around this pulley. Um, but we tell you that this force is 17 newtons and this force is 20 newtons. But we've had a rule in physics that the tension in the string is always the same. So what is going on here? Can this pulley be accelerating? Are these force values correct or is there something wrong? Um, is this just a bad setup of a problem? What's happening? So the important thing is, is the tension is the same in the string. If a few different things are happening, and maybe some of you are thinking this, so if uh, the pulley is massless, the pulley is not accelerating, that's the one I would guess that most of you would think of. So in our two body systems before, so the ones where we had a box on a table and then there was a pulley and then another box, this pulley wasn't accelerating, it was staying stationary or maybe moving at a constant velocity. Um, and then the other option is that the pulley has a radius of zero. And so if the pulley's massless, then it doesn't really matter if there's torque on it because it's not um, really accelerating. This is not a, um, a very feasible option because, as you might guess, there's no pulley that doesn't have any mass. Um, but we like to say that for simplicity, and sometimes it's a pretty good um, simplification of a problem. And then the next thing that pulley, the pulley is not accelerating, um, I think that one is kind of intuitive for you guys. And then if the pulley has a radius of zero, then these forces can't apply any torque. Um, because if they're pulled, if they're wrapped around a radius of zero, then they can't um, get it to move. Um, that's like putting a force at the axis of rotation. Um, so it doesn't do anything to make that object rotate. Um, so that being said, let's look at this diagram. Um, so there's a bunch of different questions here, and this is a situation where now our pulley is accelerating. So we didn't have a massless pulley, we didn't have a massless string. We um, Now we have like more of a realistic system. So if this object is uh, accelerating, Let's start by drawing our FBDs. So obviously we've got a force of gravity, a normal force, and then we say that there's a force of friction too. And then for B, there's FG, which has to be bigger than FT. And I'm going to label these on B. And this one on A. Okay. So before, um, we just talked about how a pulley can sometimes uh, have a string wrapped around it and it's not, that tension in that string is not equal on both sides of that pulley. Um, and so guess what? This is a situation where that's not uh, true. The tension is not the same on both sides of the pulley. So, we have to add an FBD in for the pulley. So, there's going to be a force of gravity, 
and then there's also going to be this normal force. And then there's going to be Ft, and then this should be a Newton's third law pair because this is by B. And then this one should be a Newton's third law pair with this one. So the next question is, which force needs to be bigger, Ft by B or Ft by A? And I think a helpful way of figuring this out is really zooming in on that pulley. So if we let go of this system, how is the pulley going to rotate? So the pulley should rotate this direction, so clockwise. So that means we need a clockwise torque that's bigger than the counterclockwise torque. So therefore, the force of tension B must be bigger than the force of tension A. So the force of tension that's going down on the pulley should be a lot bigger than the force of tension that's pulling sideways on the pulley. Um, so now I would recommend that you finish the rest of this or check it to make sure that um, your FBD is correct for number seven. Um, so now we're going to skip over to worksheet 11.